Hey folks, this is Brian from Super Easy Toots and we're going to finish on arrays in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how we can print all of the array elements and give us some uh, practice at using the subscript notation for arrays. Uh, so basically we're going to write a program that goes through an array and prints all of its contents onto the screen. We're going to use two concepts for this. We're going to use arrays, which we are just learning, and we're going to uh, use a for loop to execute uh, what we want to do. So basically here is our code. Let's go through this here. We have um, declared an array of integer data type. The name of it is Mike's Bench Press. And then there's going to be seven items in there. Basically, um, it says Max Bench Press is over a week period. So he's doing or over a seven week period. So he's doing it once a week. So seven is the number of items inside the array. Um, and I've used the first method that we learned in the last tutorial and in, in giving values to each of the elements in the array. We have uh, the array name, element uh, 0 is going to equal 177, element 1, 166, and so on. So we've assigned values to all of the elements 0 through 6 in the array. Then uh, we're going to have an output header here. It's just a simple C out statement that says week 1 through week 7 max bench presses. And then we've um, what we've done here is for our for loop, we have declared an integer variable and named it i. We haven't assigned it a value at all. And then we're going to use that integer variable i in our for loop. And basically we've got four, and then our, our normal for loop i equals zero. Uh, continue to execute it as long as i is less than seven, and then i plus plus. Uh, so each time it goes through, it will add a value to i and so on, and it'll execute it from 0 to 6, which is what we want. And then we just have a very easy output, uh, again, array name, and then we're using the i that we created here, the integer. So the first time through, this is going to be 0, so it'll print out um, the, uh, the value in the 0 uh, element position, and then on to 1, into 2, into 3, and so on throughout. So I'll flip over here to Quincy and we see basically right from the notes, this is exa exactly what I just showed you in the notes, have the uh, array name, Mike's Bench Press, it's an uh, integer data type, seven elements in there. We've uh, declared the values for each element. Our header here, week one through week seven, max bench presses, created the integer i and running the for loop. So I'm going to run this. And we're going to see we have our header up here, week one through week seven, max bench presses, and then all of our values. And you'll see that those values do match our, uh, our assigned values. Our output values match our assigned values. And that's basically how you use the subscript element in an array to, um, to output on the screen. You're going to do this uh, later on. We'll learn um, sorting, uh, sorting algorithms and whatnot. So um, again, this is basically how you do it. And uh, arrays are very, very useful.